Welcome back, everybody. I think you remember this room. Alright. But yeah, last time we fought a few bosses. Uh, I definitely didn't cheese them. I fought them fair and square. And now we're on our way to get the PAL card. Um, basically, the change... So if we have the three cards, it's the one card. And the way you do it is you have to go to different temperature rooms. And right now we should be in the freezer. We're gonna chill in here for now. I'm gonna hold on to the rations so don't freeze. Alright, we're gonna chill in here. Because this is a very cold place. With some permafrost. While well, I'm not just standing around looking around, to see if there's any items I left behind. Doesn't look like it. All right, how's the pal con key looking? Still normal. Okay. I'm gonna keep holding on to my last ration because I don't want to freeze. Because this is the only place you remember in the game where my rations will freeze, meaning it should be that cold in here. So. Still no. it will warm up. I probably threw that a bit too soon, but too late. Alright, we have to hurry up and do this. Also, if you look at I changed the sides, the wallpaper. I actually quite like it. One side's snake, the other one is uh, liquid. Alright, let's see if we so calm. Let's hear if it's the controller before the key warms up and changes back to its normal, our original model. And then I think you can take a guess where I'm going where the heat is. If you guess the boiler smelter room, you're correct. Except that one is the reason why I decided not to go that level 7, level seven door by uh, Sniper Wolf, because I'll be going back that way anyways. This white background to the game really pops, I'll say that. Alright, he's walking away. Let's take it nice and slow. Alright, go, 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 go. Okay, we got a loading shaft, actually. Hmm. Thank God when you leave to a new area, everyone forgets you exist. But it's still blue. disarming anything, but we're in fact doing something else, because I think these should go up when you're disarming, down when you're arming. That's a me. Alright, chaff. Alright, now I'm gonna have to do a so calm run, literally. Or, I could, no, that's a waste. 
Or, actually, yes. him with that claymore, but apparently I did. Let's try that again, shall we? It's like, I got these claymores. Oh, no, I'm pressing square. There we go. I will do a blow. There we go. Now nah, we'll wait. Things like this. I hate it. Can't wait to get the Metal Gear 2. I really am. game and I know it's a product of its time is basically if one guy sees you everyone's alerted it doesn't matter why or where everyone's alerted Metal Gear 2 and afterwards at least they have to radio for backup and that explosion wouldn't have triggered anything really because he would have died he was the only soldier up there but that's just me being mad because I'm bad Oh, my SOCOM max ammo is up to 217. Nice. Alright, let's warm this key up. Alright, we got a little ways to go. And the smelter room kind of sucks. Because, well... Oh. Yep. I dead myself. Not yet. Now. The room of death. At least there's more chaff here. Makes me happy. Alright, now we're in the room of ice where I just got my car key. You are. Uh, apparently there's people here now. Easy to walk around, but still there's people here. Oh. But yeah, I, I plan on finishing this today. It should be. Not, I'm not gonna use the word easy. Doable. Making sure there's no items. There is not. Let's go. Give me the armor. Cause I don't remember if I get ambushed here or not. So I'm gonna get ready. Hopefully it's just a smooth up. Okay, it is. Every time I think I'm about to get ambushed, I... Uh-oh. I'm a little paranoid. Oh, right. Let me talk to Campbell. Now you've got to warm the key up. Find some place hot. That's all you have to tell me? Okay. I was hoping to be like, okay, snake, halfway, you're more than halfway done, just need one more. Here's some more to Uh oh. Snake, it's about Naomi Hunter. 
Then you should talk to the Colonel. He's looking into it. Turn your monitor off. Okay, it's off. No one else can hear us. Go ahead. Sorry, but I didn't want the Colonel to hear. Okay, so what's up? I've got a good friend in the Pentagon. Yeah? He's the one who told me about it. It looks like the DIA recently developed a new type of assassination weapon. An assassination weapon? Snake, have you ever heard of something called Fox Dye? No. Fox Dye. Liquid and the others were talking about it. Yeah. It's some kind of virus that, that targets specific people. I don't know all the details, but... What are you trying to say? It's too similar. What is? The cause of death. Didn't the arms tech president and the DARPA chief, I mean, decoy octopus, die of something that looked like a heart attack? Yeah. Well, apparently, Fox Die kills its victims by simulating a heart attack. No. You're telling me that Naomi was behind it? Snake, try to remember. Did Naomi give you some kind of injection? The nanomachines. She was in the best position to have done it, but I don't know what her motive was. Does the Colonel know? I'm not sure. But he still hasn't questioned her. Okay, I'll ask him myself. Colonel, what's new with the Naomi situation? I just placed Naomi under arrest. Arrest? She was sending coded messages towards the Alaskan base. I didn't want to believe it. But she must be working with the terrorists. Are you sure? I'm afraid so. She's being interrogated now. What kind of interrogation? Well, I'd like to avoid the rough stuff, but we don't even have any sodium pentothal here. Call me if you find out anything. So it's true, isn't it? Naomi, I can't believe it. That means the Fox Dye vaccine must be around somewhere. Listen, I've got bigger things to worry about. But Snake, you might be infected too, you know. All I can do is leave it up to the Colonel. We don't remember mentioning Deep. Did I mention Deep Boy Octopus was the Dark Chief? I don't remember. Oh, yay. So, yeah, I have a poison in my system called Nano Machines. Yay. That's definitely going to come to play in any future Metal Gear games at all. Wait, what? Oh, a camera. I forgot you were there. I got love and chaff, and I want to get whatever that is. Is there anything over here? Oh. Just like last time. You got me. You're kidding. Actually, I might as well leave the chaff on. Wait, what? Uh, this area is not put mean to me. There's one thing my gear games have, and that's amazing artwork. My god, I love the artwork. Items first. There's nothing that looks like it'll attack me. So come, perfect. My beautiful silenced so come. I'll take all the ammo I can get. I'm gonna probably be in a nasty situation soon. All right, there are bullets there. Moss. Okay. Let's 
get to the smelter. Well, actually, no, I'm gonna go above the smelter and I'm gonna go into the Arctic. What? Why do I crawl in here? I didn't have to. Don't move. Okay. Do I want those? If so, I can chaff. Great trade off. I used the chaff to get two more. Control chaff is good. has changed, but I'm not leaving yet. There's a level 7 door I want to go through. I forgot that is a thing I can do. I'm a dumb dumb. So, in Metal Gear, you can, if you get real lazy and want to you know, save ammo, unequip, re-equip your weapon, and it'll reload. Also, I have two rations now as something. Okay. Alright, he's over there. Which, we'll see if it's a problem for me. See if I can get that really weak kill again. Wait, no, no, I got the sweet kill. Who are you? Because you knew where I ran, you idiot. God damn it, this just got a lot messier. No. Wasn't hoping to use that. Redo. Okay. 
apparently shooting guy this time triggered everything. You're kidding me, come on. Two ways I can do this. I key the launcher. Okay, I'm wasting the key to shell just for that. Alright, how are you? Are right, you just moved? Go. I gotta listen. Seven door. I'm also going to equip the mine detector because they probably. Yeah. Gonna equip you. No, not you. Not you. You. I'll take those. I just used a lot. Now. MD. So calm. I'm going to wait. to level 7. I don't see any mines. Oh, dear. Oh, wait, there are mines. Really? That's it? Just... Oh! Hi, buddy. How you doing? Oh, she's gone. Oh, yeah, buddy. Oh, he's happy to see me. Alright. One of these. Yeah, you do. Okay, uh, boys, stay... Don't follow. Pan, Claymore, Stun Grenade, Claymore, Ration. That's what I want. And now, careful. There we go. Yep, you good boy. I'm just gonna check each of these to see if they got any rations. Alright, that looks clear. If I use an MD. Alright. I'm loading up for the end of the game, basically, right now. Oh, is there another storage? Yes, there are. Okay. Um, 
Those are, if I had to guess, not what I want. Those are gonna be Stinger and Nikita shells. I don't need either of them, so I'm gonna just leave that alone. Beautiful, I'll take. Oh, it's wonderful, I'm happy. Also, you're still red, shocking. You'll be turned back to normal soon. I wanna check the level seven door up here, and it's not exactly useful for me. And this is just regular ammo with a camera watching. Do I need that regular ammo? Let me see. So calm is... Uh, you know what? I do not need it. I shall leave you. Alright. Let's all say hi to the dog one more time. Hello. Yep. You're really happy to see me. Yeah, the only thing in here is just ammo. That's a shame. I expected more out of a level 7 door. Alright, see you later, boy. Alright, chaff. Nope, don't follow me. You stay. Alright, we are full on Stinger. We have half a Nikita. We have... Basically, almost full SOCOM, FAMAS. We have quite a few rations, and if I die, I'm saving here. What can I do for you, Snake? I would like to save so I don't have to redo that entire section to get everything back. I'm gonna save in a different save. Rotate. Because I learned the hard way. Snake, Leo DeRocher said, win any way you can. Nice guys finish last. What about you, Snake? Is that what you think? Is there anything that you wouldn't do to stay alive? You should think about that, Snake. Hmm. -mm. Actually, I'm gonna wait for you to walk by and I'm gonna shoot you. Or I can melee you. Because you are gonna get in my way. Whether you like it or not. Gotta worry about the other guy, but I can actually deal with that now. Maybe. No, nope, I can't. I could use the Nikita launcher and take him out like I did the other guy, but he's down the level, I think. First, are you going this way or that way? Technically, I could just wait for that guy to walk by, or... Yeah, I'm gonna wait for that guy to walk by. That is useful. That is an elevator. 
I actually didn't think it was. I also want to double check, make sure the PAL key is red, because I'm trying to reheat it up after going out in the Arctic air. Are you gonna leave anytime soon, dear sir? Or are you gonna just... Oh, he did leave. Alright, one second. How is it looking? Alright, it is red. Are you okay? Time limit now. Let's go. We have to go down the two elevators. We have to go past the ice room. Go up the metal gear. Go, 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 go. And like every time I hop on this, I'm putting my body armor on. Oh, wait. Or is I actually going to just skip this entire sequence? Nope. Okay, body armor goes on. I don't need the shot. Chap, chap, chap. Him. Man, you have a angle, don't you? Is that back? It is not. So I'm not gonna worry about it. Down I go. Time put this pal key, it's basically end game. I don't like how it equips your weapon every time. Put the so come on. Also, how many rations do I have? Um, I'm not gonna use one yet. My health is actually pretty decent. How's the pal key holding up? Pal, 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 pal. It's still red. I could shoot the birds, but why would you? Oh. Snake, can you hear me? It's Naomi. Naomi? What the hell? Campbell and the others are busy right now. I'm on a different codec. Naomi, is what the colonel says true? Yes, but not everything I said was a lie. Who are you? I don't know myself. I don't know my real name or even what my parents looked like. I bought all my identification. But my reason for getting into genetics was true. Because you want to know yourself, right? That's right. I want to know where I came from. My, my age, my race, anything. Naomi. I, I was found in Rhodesia sometime in the 80s. A dirty little orphan. Rhodesia? What's now known as Zimbabwe? Yes. Rhodesia was owned by England until 1965, and there were lots of Indian laborers around. That's probably where I got my skin color from, but I'm not even sure about that. Naomi, you're too worried about the past. Isn't it enough to understand who you are now? Understand who I am now? Why should I? No one else tries to understand me. I was alone for so long. Until I met my big brother. And him. Your big brother? Yes. Frank Yeager. What? He was a young soldier. When he picked me up near the Zambezi River. I was half dead from starvation and he shared his rations with me. Yes. Frank Yeager. The man who you destroyed was my brother and my only family. No. Gray Fox? We survived that hell together, Frank and I. He 
protected me. He's my one connection. The only connection I have to my past. And he brought you back to America? No. I was in Mozambique when he came. Who is he? You mean Big Boss? Yes. He brought us to this land of freedom, this America. And then he and my brother went back to Africa to continue the war. And that's when it happened. You killed my benefactor and sent my brother home a cripple. I vowed revenge and joined Foxhound. I knew it was my best chance to meet you and I prayed for the day that I would. So, were your prayers answered? Yes. I waited two long years. To kill me? Is that all you cared about? Yes. That's right. Two years. You were all I thought about for two long years. Like some kind of twisted obsession. Do you still hate me? Not exactly. I was partly wrong about you. What about Liquid and the others? <laughs> I'll have my revenge on them, too. Naomi, you didn't kill that doctor, too, did you? The one that used Gray Fox for his genome experiments? Dr. Clark? No. That was my brother. Afterwards, I covered it up and helped him hide out. So that ninja... I mean, Gray Fox... He's come here to kill me? I don't think so. I think he just came here to fight you. I wasn't sure before, but now I think I understand. A final battle with you. That's all he lives for. I'm sure of it. Fox. No. Naomi, tell me something. About Fox Dye? Fox Dye is a type of retrovirus that targets and kills only specific people. First, it infects the macrophages in the victim's body. Fox dye contains smart enzymes created through protein engineering. They're programmed to respond to specific genetic patterns in the cells. Those enzymes recognize the target's DNA? Right. They respond by becoming active and using the macrophages they begin creating TNF Epsilon. Huh? It's a type of cytokine, a peptide which causes cells to die. The TNF Epsilon is carried along the bloodstream to the heart, where they attach to the TNF receptors in the heart cells. And then... they cause a heart attack? The heart cells suffer a shock and undergo an extreme apoptosis. Then... the victim dies. Apoptosis? You mean the heart cells commit suicide? Naomi... What? You must have programmed that thing to kill me too, right? Do I still have time? Naomi, I don't blame you for wanting me dead, but I can't go yet. I still have a job to do. Listen, Snake. I'm not the one who made the decision to use Fox Dye. Huh? You weren't? No. You were injected with Fox Dye as a part of this operation. I just wanted to let you know that. No, that's not the whole truth. Uh huh? The real thing I wanted to tell you was... Snake, I... I... Hey, what are you doing? <gasps> ah! Snake! <gasps> Naomi! Snake, I can't allow Naomi to make any more unauthorized transmissions. What? Naomi's been removed from this operation. What happened to Naomi? What did she mean when she said that Fox Dye was a part of this operation? Colonel, let me talk to her. I won't. She's under arrest. Colonel, you double-crossed me. Snake, there's no time for that. Right now, your job is to stop Metal Gear. Okay, Snake? Oh, great. Yeah, I might have, I, listen, we poisoned you and all this and that, just stop the nuclear warhead. That's all we're asking. Things happen, I'm sorry, but you are gonna die. But stop the nuclear warhead for us, thank you. I feel like after that... Oh, wait, you have pal key, are you still red? Yeah, okay. Right, no. It's not gonna happen until the next room when the jamming goes away. 
And then there's gonna be a bunch of people around me. Alright, just in case I get shot, let's equip you. Mountain wall? That room's not that hard to reverse, they got the, the stuff out of the way. Immediately. No! Um, you guys didn't see that. Yep, we're good. I, of all the places I stopped to throw chaff grenade, that is hilarious. And then I'm gonna save it in the next room so I don't lose any data because I'm happy with all the rations and everything I got right now. And my health is actually looking okay. Like, if I get shot a couple times, oh well. Hey, Mei Ling, I'm about to die probably. Snake, Naomi's under arrest. What the hell is happening over there? What's the Colonel thinking? Campbell is. I'm sorry, I can't say anymore. But please believe me, I'm here to help you until the end. Until you die from a heart attack because a fox died, yes. Please, Nick, don't give up. Let's talk to everyone else. Hey, Campbell, I have a problem with you. Colonel, what's new with Naomi? She's being interrogated, Snake. Leave her to me. You just worry about stopping Metal Gear. Please, Snake, I consider you my friend. Please believe that. Snake, we're just about out of time. Get to the control room. So Naomi used Fox Dye to take her revenge on you. Yeah, but she said she wasn't the one who made the decision to use it. According to her, it was just one part of this operation. Hmm. If this goes all the way up to Campbell, it might not be so easy to get that vaccine. Oh well, forget about it. I can't really blame Dr. Naomi. I feel sorry for her. Ever since I was a little kid, I always hated my first name. How, isn't it? Yeah, but I'm not a computer, I'm a human. Al 3000. My grandfather taking part in the Manhattan Project. My father being born on the day of the Hiroshima bomb. I hated every part of that. My name, my father, my grandfather. It felt like all those things were a ball and chain around my legs, dragging me down. Now that I think about it, I realize that I was blessed. At least I know who I am, where I came from. But Dr. Naomi didn't even know who her parents were, what her real name was. She must have been a very lonely little girl. Otacon. Sorry, Snake. I guess right now you should focus on re-inputting those PAL codes. Nastasha. I'm going to ask you one more time. Do you know anything about Fox Dai and the real nature of this operation? Sorry, I have not been told anything about that. That's funny. The Colonel said almost exactly the same thing. Sorry, I didn't mean to sound sarcastic. I believe you. All right. I mean, I don't blame him for being mad. If I was told there's a ticking time bomb in you, and you're the reason why everyone's dying, and it's gonna kill you probably at the end, yeah, I wouldn't be happy either. It's like, I went on this mission because you guys asked me to. I didn't go on this mission because I want you to die and kill everyone around you. Come on, go. Ladder. There's a few things that Metal Gear does right. The art style, the artwork, the dang it's in every game is amazing. I love the artist. And then the music is just... Mm. Alright, he's walking away. Wait for him to turn. Run, 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 run. I actually got a stun grenade with his name on it. What was that noise? First time using a stun grenade. Legitly. 
The other time I used it in the uh, one place and it didn't go very well. I'm not looking at the pal key. I'm hoping it is good. I'm, oh, oh, yes, 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 yes. A minute in time. One try each, not including deaths. Pal code number three confirmed. Alright. Pal code entry complete. We were played. I deactivated it. They played you. Thank you, Snake. Now the detonation code is completed. Nothing can stop Metal Gear now. Master, what's going on? You found the key, and even activated the warhead for us, too. I really must express my gratitude. Sorry to have involved you in that silly shape memory alloy business. What are you talking about? We weren't able to learn the DARPA chief's code. Even with Mantis' psychic powers, he couldn't read his mind. Then Ocelot accidentally killed him during the interrogation. In other words, we weren't able to launch the nuclear device and we were all getting a little worried. Without the threat of a nuclear strike, our demands would never be met. What do you mean? Without the detonation codes, we had to find some other way. That's when we decided you might prove useful, Snake. What? First, I thought we might get the information from you, Snake. So I had Decoy Octopus disguise himself as the DARPA chief. Unfortunately, Octopus didn't survive the, the encounter, thanks to Fox Die. You mean you had this plan from the beginning, just to get me to input the detonation code? Huh? <laughs> you didn't think you made it this far by yourself, did you? Who the hell are you? In any case, the launch preparations are complete. Once the world glimpses the power of this weapon, the White House will have no choice but to surrender the Fox Dye vaccine to me. Their ace in the hole is useless now. Ace in the hole? The Pentagon's plan to use you was already successful in the torture room. <laughs> Snake, you're the only one who doesn't know. Ah, oh, poor fool. Who are you anyway? I'll tell you everything you want to know. If you come where I am, that is. Where are you? Very close by. Snake, that's not Master Miller. Campbell, you're too late. Master Miller's body was just discovered at his home. He's been dead for at least three days. I didn't know because my codec link with Master was cut off. But Mei Ling said his transmission signal was coming from inside the base. So who is it? Snake, you've been talking to me, dear brother. Liquid, how the... You've served your purpose. You may die now. All right. Snake, gas! Do something! Snake, call Emmerich. He should be able to break through security. Snake, you are in danger. Get out of there. Yeah, but how? Isn't there someone who knows this base? Dr. Emmerich, maybe he can do something. Snake, that's bulletproof glass. You can't break it with an ordinary weapon. Can't you open the security lock here? I'll try. Just hold on for a minute. All right. I hacked into security. Snake, I'm opening the door. There's a ration there. I wonder why. 
Brother. Let's equip the Bokyama ration and chase my brother. I should save it. I should have saved it. Oh, oh yes. All right, let's camp. We gotta save them out of the room. Snake, what are you doing? Go after Liquid. Hey, Master, want to talk to me? Yeah, I thought so. So that would explain why every time you're fighting Liquid, the Master would never pick up, and when he crashed the helicopter, he wouldn't pick up because the Master was Liquid. Oh. They give you the signs throughout the game, kind of. It's like every time Liquid's on screen, the Master is not there. On top of that, you can see them looking at him through the security monitors Come and on, talking. Snake, you can do it. Acting like they're playing him the entire time. Hello, brother. <laughs> Liquid! Snake! Did you like my sunglasses? You'd point a weapon at your own brother? Why did you disguise yourself as master? So I could manipulate you more easily. And you performed quite well, I must say. Although the boys at the Pentagon are probably saying the same thing. What the hell are you talking about? Following orders blindly with no questions asked, you've lost your warrior's pride and become nothing more than a pawn snake. What? Stopping the nuclear launch, rescuing the hostages, it was all just a diversion. A diversion? The Pentagon only needed for you to come into contact with us. That's what killed the arms tech president and decoy octopus. You don't mean... That's right. You were sent here to kill us so they could retrieve Metal Gear undamaged, along with the bodies of the genome soldiers. From the beginning, the Pentagon was just using you as a vector to spread fox dye. Fox die? It can't be. Are you telling me Naomi was working with the Pentagon? They thought she was, but it seems that Dr. Naomi Hunter couldn't be controlled so easily. What? We've got a spy working in the Pentagon. He reported that Dr. Hunter altered Fox die's program just before the operation, but no one knows how or why. I wonder. Maybe they arrested her so they could find out the answer to that. No doubt. But I had no idea she was motivated by such petty revenge. We still don't know what changes she made to Fox Dye's program. Oh well, it doesn't matter. I've already added the Fox Dye vaccine to my list of White House demands. There's a vaccine? There must be. But that woman is the only one who really knows. Anyway, it might prove to be unnecessary. Why is that? You were successful in coming into contact with all of us, so we must have all been exposed to the virus. It's true that the Armstead President and Decoy Octopus were killed by Fox Dye, but Ocelot, myself, and you, the carrier, were apparently unaffected. A bug in the virus's programming? Hmm. Could be. In any case, if it doesn't kill you, then I'm not worried either. After all, our genetic code is identical. So it's true. You and I are... Yes, twins. But we're not ordinary twins. We're twins linked by cursed genes. Les enfants terribles. <laughs> You're fine. You got all the old man's dominant genes. I got the flawed recessive genes. Everything was done so that you would be the greatest of his children. The only reason I exist is so they could create you. I was the favorite, huh? That's right. I'm just the leftovers of what they used to make you. Can you understand what it's like to know that you're garbage since the day you were born? But I'm the one father chose. So that's why you're so obsessed with Big Boss. Some warped kind of love. Love? It's hate! He always told me I was inferior, and now I'll have my revenge! <laughs> you should understand me, brother. You killed our father with your own hands! You stole my chance for revenge! Now I'll finish the work that father began. I will surpass him! I will destroy him! You're just like Naomi. Well, I'm not like you! Unlike you, 
I'm proud of the destiny that is encoded into my very genes. Yeah. Snake, your blood will be the first to be spilled by this glorious new weapon. Consider it an honor, a gift from your brother. Now I'll show you the power of the weapon that will lead us in the 21st century. It's moving. bigger things in Peace Walker. Can't wait for that to be re-released. Give me online co-op, please. Alright, here we go. Immediately body armor. Immediately keep running, actually. Alright, now we got this stinger. We don't waste that in issues. Sometimes, maybe. Also, you're hurting me. Also, wait, I haven't called them. God help us. Metal Gear is moving. Snake, it's all riding on you now. You've got to stop that thing. But how? You'll have to ask Dr. Emmerich, the guy who made it. and an expert on high-tech weapons, but I don't know anything about Metal Gear. Why don't you ask Dr. Emmerich? Snake, Rex's armor is impregnable. You can't do any damage with the weapons you've got. Rex uses the latest advances in compound armor. The only way you can pierce it is with a high-performance heat round. So what do I do? Rex's pilot seat operates exactly like a VR system. It's got multiple sensors connected to a high-tech interface used for the controls. It's completely self-enclosed and shut off from the outside environment. He's not using his naked eyes? That's right. So if you could somehow destroy the sensors... Do you see that round plate on Rex's left arm? Yeah, that thing that looks like a shield. That's a radome. If you can destroy that thing, it won't be able to use its electronic equipment. So he'll be blinded. Yeah, try to hit that ray dome with a stinger missile. So that will stop it? No. Rex was designed so it can be controlled manually, too. Oh, great. The part that looks like a beak is where the pilot seat is. In an emergency, it'll open up. Rex's armor is perfect. You can't destroy it. You told me that already. But the interior is a different story. I get it. First, I destroy the ray dome. That will force him to open up the pilot's seat. Right! If you can shoot a stinger missile into the cockpit, you'll destroy the computer control system. You intentionally designed it with a weak point? It's not a weak point. I like to think of it as a character flaw. People just aren't complete without some type of character flaw, don't you think? I guess so. I owe you one, Otacon. <laughs> Thanks for the character flaw. Do not like me. I 
just don't know how to dodge those. I am trying. Stinger. What happened to the invisibility frame after getting hit? Snake! What happened? Snake! <sighs> Snake! Apparently those don't exist when I'm on a roll.
I was quiet the entire time. I was just crying. You got mixed chaffs and stinger. And, uh, luckily, did, did it. That do it. I think only have one chaff left. Radar's down. Thanks for the Protect anyone, not even yourself. Die! I was 
Oh dear, I'm out. Well, let's run. Don't make me redo the entire thing. I'm gonna lose my. Oh, I hate you. <laughs>
Oh yeah, I never did this yet, have I? Colonel, Fox is dead. I know. God rest his soul. Even a soldier needs more to live for than just fighting. Maybe if he'd found something else, he wouldn't have been so haunted. He was too simple. Too pure. There was nothing in this world for him to believe in. So he chose to believe only in himself. I guess you're right. A man like Fox is really only looking for his death. Yeah. But if you ask me, there's no happiness to be gained in death. No peace either. I'm gonna leave here alive. Good. I want that too. Stinger missiles carefully. I saw it in President Baker's top secret files. Rex has a free electron laser mounted on its belly. It's a laser weapon that discharges a laser beam into an electron beam that's been accelerated using giant magnets. It can generate an incredible amount of energy, pretty close to 100 megawatts. That's 10 times greater than any other laser out there. Thanks. Okay. Laser, that's not screwing me. Now, now, now. Wait, 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 wait. No. <sighs> okay. Got Metal Gear now. Brother. A snake? Liquid. You're still alive. I won't die. As long as you still live. Too bad. It looks like your revolution was a failure. Just because you've destroyed Metal Gear doesn't mean I am done fighting. Fighting? What are you really after? A world where warriors like us are honored as we once were. As we should be. That was Big Boss's fantasy. It was his dying wish! <sighs> when he was young, during the Cold War, the world needed men like us. We were valued then. We were desired. But things 
people are different now. With all the lies and hypocrites running the world, war isn't what it used to be. We're losing our place in a world that no longer needs us. A world that now spurns our very existence. You should know that as well as I do. After I launch this weapon and get our billion dollars, we'll be able to bring chaos and honor back to this world gone soft. Conflict will breed conflict. New hatreds will arise. Then we'll steadily expand our sphere of influence. But as long as there are people, there will always be war. But the problem is balance. Father knew what type of a balance was best. Is that the only reason? <laughs> Isn't it reason enough for warriors such as us? I don't want that kind of world. Ha! You lie. So why are you here then? Why do you continue to follow your orders while your superiors betray you? Why did you come here? <clears throat> well... I'll tell you then. You enjoy all the killing. That's why. What? Are you denying it? Haven't you already killed most of my comrades? Th that was... <laughs> I watched your face when you did it. It was filled with the joy of battle. You're wrong. There's a killer inside you. You don't have to deny it. We were created to be that way. Created? Les Enfants Terribles. The Terrible Children. That's what the project was called. It started in the 1970s. Their plan was to artificially create the most powerful soldier possible. The person that they chose as the model was the man known then as the greatest living soldier in the world. Big Boss. But Father was wounded in combat and already in a coma when they brought him in. So they created us from his cells, with a combination of 20th century analog cloning and the Super Baby Method. Super Baby Method? They fertilized an egg with one of Father's cells, and then let it divide into eight clone babies. Then they transferred the clones to someone's uterus, and later intentionally aborted six of the fetuses to encourage strong fetal growth. You and I were originally octuplets. Octuplets? Yes. The other six of our brothers were sacrificed to make us. We were accomplices in murder before the day we were even born. So it was you and I. Two fertilized eggs with exactly the same DNA. But they weren't finished yet. They used me as a guinea pig. To create a phenotype in which all of the dominant genes were expressed. To create you. I got all of the recessive genes. You took everything from me before I was even born. But you and I aren't his only children. What? The genome soldiers. They too are his progeny, carrying on his genetic legacy. But they're different. Digital. With the completion of the Human Genome Project, the mysteries of humanity were laid bare. Thanks to Father's DNA, they were able to identify more than 60 soldier genes responsible for everything from strategic thinking to the proverbial killer instinct. Those soldier genes were transplanted into the members of the next generation special forces. That's how they became the genome soldiers. <laughs> That's right. The genome soldiers that you've been killing are our brothers with the same genes as ours. The genome soldiers? That's right. They are our brothers, created artificially through the alignment of nucleotides to mimic our father's genes. They too are the product of numerous sacrifices. Sacrifices? Human experiments! Nineteen ninety-one, the Gulf War. The military secretly injected soldiers with the soldier genes. The Gulf War syndrome that hundreds of thousands of returning soldiers complained about 
was a side effect of it. Ha! Everyone knows that the Gulf War Syndrome was caused by exposure to depleted uranium used in the anti-tank rounds. <laughs> that was just a cover story issued by the Pentagon. First they tried to say it was post-traumatic stress disorder, then chemical or biological weapons. The poison gas detection units and the anti-serin injections, they were all just a cover-up of the secret genetic experiments. So then, the so-called Gulf War babies that have been reported by Gulf War veterans are... Yes. They, too, are our brothers and sisters. So the genome soldiers mean that the experiments were a success? Success? Don't be a fool! They're a complete failure! We are on the verge of extinction! What? Have you ever heard of the asymmetry theory? Nature tends to favor asymmetry. Those species which have gone extinct all show signs of symmetry. The genome soldiers suffer from the same problem. Signs of symmetry. So do I. As do you. That's right. We are all on the verge of death at the genetic level. We don't know when or what type of disease will occur. That's why we need the old man's genetic information. You want Big Boss's DNA so you can save your family? It's very touching. In nature, family members don't mate with each other, and yet they help each other to survive. Do you know why? It increases the chance that their genes will be passed on to a new generation. Altruism among blood relatives is a response to natural selection. It's called the selfish gene theory. You're telling me that your genes are ordering you to save the genome soldiers? You can't fight your genes. It's fate. All living things are born for the sole purpose of passing on their parents' genes. That's why I'll follow what my genes tell me. And then I'm going to go beyond. In order to break the curse of my heritage. And to do that, first, I will kill you. Look behind you! Mel! Is she alive? I'm not sure. She was alive a few hours ago. Poor girl kept calling your name. Meryl. Stupid woman. Falling in love with a man who doesn't even have a name. I have a name. No! We have no past, no future, and even if we did, it wouldn't be truly ours. You and I are just copies of our father, Big Boss. Let Meryl go. As soon as we've finished our business, we're almost out of time. You're talking about Fox Tai. No. It seems now that the Pentagon knows that Metal Gear is destroyed. They've arrived at a decision. They won't even need a PDA. If you want the details, why don't you ask your precious Colonel Campbell? Colonel, can you hear me? Yes, I'm listening. What is the Pentagon trying to do? Colonel, answer me. The Secretary of Defense has taken over active control of this operation. He's on his way there by AWACS. What for? To bomb the place. What? Not only that, B-2 bombers just lifted off from Galena Air Force Base. They're carrying B-6113 surface-piercing tactical nuclear bombs. What? Metal Gear is destroyed. Tell the Secretary of Defense. The Secretary of Defense heard that Naomi double-crossed us, and he's worried about Fox Die. Now that there's no more danger of a nuclear strike from Metal Gear, he's going to do whatever's necessary to cover up the truth of what really happened here. He's going to drop a nuclear bomb to vaporize all the evidence along with anyone who knows anything. Don't worry, Snake. I'll stop the nuclear strike. How? I may only be a figurehead here, but I'm still officially in command of this mission. If I issue an order to delay the strike, it'll confuse the chain of command and at least buy you some time. It'll give you a chance to escape. But, Colonel, if you do that... It's okay, Snake. The truth is, Foxhound was already the subject of an undercover investigation. Merrill was transferred to this base just before the terrorist attack as a way of manipulating me.
Those bastards. I'm sorry. They forced me to cooperate in exchange for her life. You better get out of there, Snake. Are you sure? It'll be bad for you. Don't worry. It's the least I can do for you, after all the lies. Colonel. I'm ordering them to cancel the bombing run. After that, there's no turning back. What? What are you doing? What? Snake! Mei Ling, what happened to the Colonel? I don't believe it. What happened? Snake, the Colonel! Roy Campbell has been relieved of duty. This is the Secretary of Defense, Jim Houseman. Put the Colonel back on. He's been placed under arrest for leaking top secret information and for the crime of high treason. Ridiculous. Yes, he's a ridiculous man. He truly believed that he was in command of this operation. You bastard. There won't be a speck of evidence left. I'm sure the President would want the same thing. The President ordered this? The President is a busy man. I have complete authority here. How do you plan on explaining a nuclear attack on Alaska to the media? Don't worry. We've prepared a convincing cover story. We'll simply say that the terrorists exploded a nuclear device. Smart. You'll be murdering everyone here. The scientists, the genome army, everyone. Donald, the DARPA chief is already dead. So you didn't mean to kill the DARPA chief after all. He was my friend. And you could care less about what happens to everybody else, huh? Well, if you give me the optic disc, I might consider saving them. What are you talking about? Metal Gear's test data. Donald was supposed to bring it back. I don't have it. I see. Oh, well, that's okay. You two are an embarrassment from the 1970s. Our country's dirty little secret. You can't be allowed to live. Well, the bombs will be dropping soon, and you two have a lot of catching up to do. <laughs> Farewell. <laughs> There's no way out for us. Let's finish this before the airstrike. You stole everything from me. Only your death can satisfy me. Only your death can return to me what is rightly mine. She'll make a beautiful sacrifice for our final battle. Do you see this? It will be the time limit for our final battle. This nuclear module is set to detonate at the precise moment of her Death. We're about to have an airstrike of a nuke on our head, and you want to set another nuclear device in here? Okay. If you win, you might still be able to save her. You could enjoy one brief moment of love before the end. If you cross this line, you'll fall. At this height, it will kill even you. Have at you, snake. All right, one second. Snake, it is just you and Liquid now. There is no advice I can give you. Trust yourself. You have got to win. I don't know anything about fighting, but you've got to beat Liquid. Are you hurt, Snake? Oh, I can save a middle battle. For some reason, I didn't think I could. But here, yeah, you can. All right, let's end this. Oh, man, don't come on, it. Snake! You can do it. I'll try. All right, I have no item. No item.
liquid draw. Liquid. Nope, he's doing his thing. Nope. doing well, but I'm not. Oh, that's on me. I'd say I'm redoing this battle. Unless I get... Out of time. Yeah, I noticed. Yeah. Okay. Well, goodbye. We're both dead. What's wrong, snake? I did decent for my first attempt in a while. Yay! <laughs> I hate to say, how are you laughing if we're both dead? Liquid? Alright, let's try this again. That's on me. Have at you, sneak! Alright, that's a one, two, three. Alright. That's a one, two, three. Nope, he's doing this thing. One, two, three. He's gonna probably dodge. Yep, don't. Nope. Nice shot! Oh, nice shot. What's wrong, snake? Wait for him to attack. Alright. Alright, we're doing way better than last time. You're right. out oh, of That's time. on me. Oh god damn it. This 
one's not going to be the one, I can tell you that. I'm not even doing damage. Apparently Snickling knows how to hit once now. Nice shot! You're out of time! How? 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 You know what, Snake? Don't hit Liquid. You know what? Just keep doing what you're doing. It's fine. Was I even near that? You know what? Let me die. Nope. 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 I refuse. I'm not even gonna be able to do it. Just kill me. Just kill me. Just kill me. Just kill me. Nope. I'm not even gonna try. Really? Can I not fall to my death? Alright, Liquid, do your thing. trying to kill myself and he's not killing me. There we go. Invisibility frames. Invisibility frames. really aggressive, you stun lock him. Have at you, Snake! to get hit. Get health back. You're out of time. <sighs> I'm shocked how close I actually got the Marin with the one attempt. I'm like, all right, so I'm gonna kill myself. Nope, I apparently almost got him. Is that all you can say? 
Harold, it must have been terrible. Oh, it wasn't that bad. I didn't give in to the torture. Torture? And things even worse than that. I was fighting too. Just like you. You're a strong woman. Fighting them made me feel closer to you. I felt like you were there with me. It gave me the strength to go on. But I was scared. I'm sorry. Don't say that. But it made me realize something. During all the pain and shame, there was one thing I was sure of. A single hope that I held on to. And that hope kept me alive. Snake, I wanted to see you again. Meryl. That's my Kodak. We should really get out of here. Just saying. Snake, it's me. Otacon, good news. Meryl's okay. All right. You saved her, man. Good job. I got some bad news, too. We're about to be bombed. Oh, boy. I guess we're considered expendable. Is there a way out of here? A way out? Uh, yeah. You can take the loading tunnel to the surface. There's a parking garage right next to you. The tunnel leads from there to the surface. The door in front? No. It's a small entrance to the west of that door. How about the security? I just unlocked it. Who do you think you're talking to? I'll take care of security along your escape route, too. What are you going to do? Me? I... I'll stay here. Are you crazy? I need a little more time to take care of your escape route. But... Unlocking the security doors is difficult work. Only I can do it. Otacon... Don't worry. I'm staying here. It's my own decision. Otacon, this is a hardened shelter, but they're going to use a surface-piercing nuclear bomb. It won't hold. I'm through regretting the past. Life isn't all about loss, you know. Snake, I'm a complete person now. I've found a reason to live. Good. Don't die on me. Same to you. Take care of Meryl, okay? I will. Okay, I gotta go. I promise I'll do something about your escape route. Thanks. Thanks? Well, that sounds nice. I believe in you. Thanks, Snake. Let's get the hell out of here. What about him? Where's Otakon? He's... He's... Fighting right now. With his old self. To be the man he wants to be. He's fighting for us too? Yeah. And I don't want it to be in vain. Me too. Man, she recovered quick. Meryl. Snake. No. Metal Gear. It started. I must be heavy. Looks like we're not gonna have a love scene after all. Looks that way. Too bad. <laughs> Get out of here. Snake, it's freezing outside. You need some clothes. There's my sneaking suit. Honestly, Hurry up. I think it's not more important than getting dressed. I'd rather at least have a chance getting outside and just get hypothermia, maybe, than just getting bombed Hurry. and then have no chance. Oh, she got a jacket somehow. Mm, looking good, Snake. I forgot how long the ending cutscene is. I don't think it's that long in Metal Gear 1. Hurry! Oh. Actually, I'll take that. Not ration and no weapons. I'll drive! Damn! A surveillance camera! 
I mean, it doesn't matter. The place is getting bombed. Damn, no keys. All right, keys. Meryl, please. Guys, hey, jump in. There we go. Fire that machine gun into everyone. Shoot him, Snake. You guys are dedicated. Place is blowing up. You know what? Let's just wait. Right, let's get out here. We have eight minutes. Well, nine minutes. We have nine full minutes of oh, I have more rations because uh, this is gonna be rough for me. Oh, wait. Okay, yeah, no one's gonna talk to me at this point in the game. Yeah, let's not even try. We're not out of the woods yet. Here they come. Hey! We'll never make it. Stay, clear a path. How many shots do you guys take? All the bad genes, yet this guy can take more of a beating than me. Shook up. Meryl, can you move? Uh, uh, it's no good. I can't move. What happened to Liquid? I can't see him either. Liquid's dead. Uh-oh. Snake! Uh-oh. 
If he's dead, that means... Don't say it, Snake. What happened to the air raid? No stealth bombers in sight. Snake, can you hear me? Colonel. Are you okay? Colonel, what happened? The Secretary of Defense has been arrested. Early retirement. Arrested? I was able to get into contact with the President. Metal Gear, the training exercise, all of it. It was all the Secretary of Defense acting alone. Acting alone? What happened to the air raid and the nuclear strike? The orders were rescinded. The F-117s and the B-2 Spirits have returned to the base. Once again, I have complete authority over this operation. I see. Washington isn't stupid enough to use nukes to cover up a few secrets. I wonder about that. In any case, the danger's over. Thanks, Snake. Colonel, you can rest easy. Merrill's fine. Really? Thanks. Thank you, Snake. Snake, I'm sorry. I, I kept a lot of things from you. It's okay, Colonel. Snake. I'm not a colonel. <laughs> oh, that's right. I've got a present for you. There's a snowmobile close to you. Mei Ling saw it on the satellite photos. This time of year, the glaciers are pretty calm. You should be able to ride right out of there. I'll bet the boys at the DIA and the NSA never expected you to come home alive. Me neither. I better not show my face around here. No danger of that. You two officially died after your jeep sank into the ocean. That's not too far from the truth. Also, there's a helicopter waiting for you on Fox Island. Dr. Hal Emmerich should be somewhere on the base. I want someone to bring him in. I understand. Leave it to me. Okay, Roy. Are you gonna be okay? Don't worry. I've got an insurance policy. A hard copy of all Mei Ling's data. As long as I've got that, you, me, and Mei Ling will be fine. The battery on these nanomachines will run out soon. They won't be able to follow us. I guess we won't meet again. Don't worry. I'll pay you a visit sometime. Really? I look forward to that. Roy, just tell me one thing. What? About Fox Die. Meryl will be fine. She wasn't included in its programming. What about me? It killed Liquid. Naomi said that she wants to talk to you face to face about that. How is she? Don't worry. Mei Ling is with her right now. I'm switching over to Naomi. Snake, it's me. Naomi. I heard about my brother. I'm sorry. But he had one last message he wanted to say to you. He told me to tell you to forget about him and to go on with your own life. Frankie said that? Yeah. He also said he'll always love you. Naomi, your brother just saved you, me, and the whole world. He fought with every ounce of strength in his body. Maybe... Maybe now he's finally found some peace. He wasn't really my brother anymore. Ever since he fought with you in Zanzibar, he's been like a ghost. A ghost looking for a place to die. <laughs> <laughs> Naomi, Liquid died from Fox Die too. What about me? When am I gonna go? That's up to you. What do you mean? Everybody dies when their time is up. Yeah, so when's mine up? It's up to you how you use the time left to you. Live, Snake. That's all I can say to you.
Each person is born with their fate written into their own genetic code. It's unchangeable, immutable. But that's not all there is to life. I finally realized that. I told you before the reason that I was interested in genes and DNA. Because I wanted to know who I was. Where I came from. I thought that if I analyzed my DNA, I could find out who I was. Who my parents were. And I thought that if I knew that, then I'd know what path I should take in life. But I was wrong. I didn't find anything. I didn't learn anything. Just like with the genome soldiers, you can input all the genetic information, but that doesn't make them into the strongest soldiers. The most we can say about DNA is that it governs a person's potential strengths, potential destiny. You mustn't allow yourself to be chained to fate, to be ruled by your genes. Humans can choose the type of life they want to live, Snake, whether or not you're in the Fox Die program isn't important. The important thing is that you choose life. And then live. Don't you think, Snake? Don't worry. I'm going to choose life too. Until today, I've always looked for a reason to live. But from here on, I'm going to just live. Genes exist to pass down our hopes and dreams for the future through our children. Living is a link to the future. That's how all life works. Loving each other, teaching each other. That's how we can change the world. I finally realized it. The true meaning of life. Thank you, Snake. Look, I found this. Let's keep it as a reminder. Of what? A reminder of a successful mission? Or the first time we met? A reminder of how to live. Huh? Until today, I've lived only for myself. Survival has been the only thing I cared about in my life. That's not just you. That's how everyone is. I only felt truly alive when I was staring death in the face. I don't know. Maybe it's written into my genes. What about now? What do your genes say about your future now? Maybe it's time I live for someone else. Someone else? Yeah. Someone like you. Maybe that's the real way to live. So, where to, Snake? David. My name's David. Okay. So where to, Dave? Hmm. I think it's time we look for a new path in life. A new path? A new purpose. Will we find it? We'll find it. I know we'll find it. What are those? Caribou. To the Aleutians, the caribou is a symbol of life. It'll be spring here soon. For us too. <gasps> yeah. Spring brings new life to everything. It's a time for hope. I've lived here a long time, but Alaska has never looked more beautiful. The sky, the sea, the caribou, and most of all, you. I think I'm gonna like this new life. Come on, let's enjoy life.
In the 1980s, there was more than 60,000 nuclear warheads in the world at all times. The total destructive power amounted to the 1 million at the high. Eh, you know what? I'm not going to bother trying to read these because it's going to go too fast. I believe that is the good ending also, but the ending of Metal Gear Solid. <sighs> Man, when you go back to this years later and try to play it, holy cow, you are, if you're rusty, have fun because, oof. I got Metal Gear 2 on the brain, I swear I'm better at that game. Way better. But it's nice to go back to this game. I remember also playing Twin Snakes, and Twin Snakes is basically a remake of this entire game, beat by beat, with Metal Gear 2 uh, graphics and control scheme, which then makes the game extremely easy, because you can actually aim and everything. But yeah, other than me screwing up at the recording of the torture scene and the first sniper will fight, I think everything went well. I was going to die a few times. One time I almost killed myself, and yeah, but yeah, it's nice to go back to this game. I'm not skipping the credits because in these games there's most of the time always an after credit cutscene. I remember there's one after this. Parmy wants to go right to Metal Gear 2 after this, but I think I'll hold off for a bit. But if I do go right to Metal Gear 2, hey, I enjoy Metal Gear 2. There are two endings this game. Uh, the first ending, as you saw, is me leaving with Meryl. That is the good ending. Which is the also the canon ending. Basically, you cannot give up during the torture scene. And that will basically give you the good ending. But if you give up and then she dies, and then basically she won't be there for the ending. Instead, you find Otacon and you both leave on the uh, snowmobile instead. And well, Snake, you know, is a bit, you know, not happy, but he's alive. So beating the game and getting Meryl alive, you get the bandana, which I forget what that does. And if you beat the game with uh, Otacon, you get the stealth suit. So if you want, you have to beat the game twice. Get those, and if you want to try and get all the achievements, uh, use both those items in a new playthrough in the hardest difficulty. That is the best thing to do. Then, yeah. These games are always good. I just suck at the first one, honestly. I just do. I'll say one more thing. I love this game and all that. Fox Die will come back up in Metal Gear 4, which is going to come out with the second Metal Gear pack, which I can't wait because it's been forever since I've played Metal Gear 4. I only played through it once. But now, I allow me to shut up. And listen to the credits and enjoy the after credits scene, then no. Go away. But until then I'll see you next time. So long.
You mustn't allow yourself to be chained to fate, to be ruled by your genes. Humans can choose the type of life they want to live. The important thing is that you choose life, and then live. Yes, sir. The entire unit was wiped out. Those two are still alive. The Vector? Yes, sir. Fox dies should become activated soon. Right on schedule. Yes, sir. I recovered all of Rex's dummy warhead data. No, sir. My cover is intact. Nobody knows who I really am. Yes, the DARPA chief knew my identity. But he's been disposed of. Yes, the inferior one was the winner after all. That's right. Until the very end, Liquid thought he was the inferior one. Yes, sir, I agree completely. It takes a well-bounced individual such as yourself to rule the world. No, sir. No one knows that you were the third one. Solidus, what should I do about the woman? Yes, sir. I'll keep her under surveillance. Yes. Thank you. Goodbye. Mr. President. Oh, I'm not gonna lie, I completely forgot all about this. Uh, nine hours, 22 say, yeah, 34 continues, three, uh, yeah. I'm an iguana. I got bandana. Yeah, save my completed mission data up here. Here. All right. <laughs>